And we live. All right, Shalom. The brothers here for uh, Great Millstone Atlanta. We want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Dub on us to the apostle of those great millstones. Shalom to have the document to push the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, we wanted to, um, you know, shed light on this uh, lesson pertaining to the Lord, basically uh, opening our imagination. You know, and it first starts with the spark of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. That understanding, you know, has, um, you know, been been graced upon, you know, oh, certain men to uh, understand this word, you know, and, and believe on it and and, and uh, walk it, you know. And, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to pull out the def definition of imagination, you know, because, you know, when you think about these different, and you see these different people in the world, they don't see past Babylon, man. They don't see anything for from America. You know, a lot of these individuals have a, a, a minuscule mindset, you know, they're, they're subject to their city, they're subject to their state, you know, that's the uh, farthest that they see, you know, and if they have an image of life, what is it, a 401k, it's a, a pension or a retirement plan, you mm -hmm. know, it's a, 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 a house that's uh, purchased, you know, they finally pay their mortgage off and they get to live with their family, you know, family, you know, up until the point of their death, you know, the Lord never desire for us to live that humdrum fucking monot monotonous type of lifestyle he envisioned his people to basically you know have dominion all over the face of the earth you know that's why israel was known as what the, the princes of the power you see which is the highest form of um you know positioning to be a prince of god you're pretty much a god as it is written in psalms 82 and uh six you know but uh, Esau, you know, he through his um, witchcraft and sorcery, he has suffocated and suppressed the imagination of us Israelites, you know, first starting with slavery, you know, beating the image of the Hebrew out of us, beating the image of Yahweh Shah, beating the scriptures out of us and, and teaching us that plantation Christianity, which has done, done nothing more but debased us in this uh, captivity. So, you know. Uh, we're going to get into some scriptures, you know, to showing that, you know, the Lord, you know, has has awakened, you know, the, the first thought of the awakening is, you know, the imagination, the image, the, the embracement of Yahweh Hashem Shai first starts with the knowledge, you know, and believing in, in that knowledge and really envisioning the kingdom, you know, even though we don't see it through what? Hebrews 11 and 1, faith. All right. So I'm going to read this one scripture, you know, of course. Because quality anything you want to say, jump jump into it. Okay. But uh Matthew 13 and 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart, which the heart deals with the mind, that's what it, what do you say, the imagination, that's what the imagination lies, man. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mind. But the scriptures speak about for this people's heart is wax gross. I, Isaiah the 60th chapter backs that up. How gross darkness shall be on the people. All right. And their ears are dull of hearing. And that goes to what? Spiritually retaining this information. All right. Because something that's dull is not sharp. Right. You know, when, when, when you think of somebody that's sharp minded. They catch on fairly quickly. Majority of our people are, are dull, they like dull blaze. You know, th this truth is, uh, you know, you, you should be working towards being fit for the master's use as it is written. But Jake is unfit, man. That's why the scriptures refer to him as uh, reprobates and mm -hmm. uh, rejects. You see? Right. Uh, but I'm going to continue on. Oh, you want to say something? Yeah, I was about to say, like, even you mentioned that like, being the truth, the Lord has given us wisdom. You know, uh, you, you mentioned the word dull. Uh, being dull is like being docile. Um, and like uh, having wisdom makes you witty. You know what I'm saying? You have a wit about you. You're, you're real quick to uh, see things and you're, you're, you're quick, on your, quick on your feet, you could say. Yeah. You got it. 
Okay. I'm gonna drop it's it's breaking up just a little bit. Hopefully the lag and a stop. You hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, just lagging a little bit. Okay, but I'm gonna continue on. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes ha they have closed. Let's say any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But, that's a big but, that but is another word for between. Blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you your that many prophets and righteous men for verily for verily I say unto you, the like main prophets and righteous men. Are you, are you saying something? I, it's, it's, it has a um, echo. It has a lag. I didn't know if that was. Yeah, that lag is um, it's killing me. But I'm going to continue on. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. You see, so that is, is um, you know, key, you know, is, is the Lord, you know, bringing this wisdom, knowledge and understanding unto us, like I said, through faith and walking in this faith. And that's why um, even in our walk, you have to meditate upon uh, godly things, man. You got to meditate on, on, on the kingdom of heaven. You got to use your imagination. The Lord didn't give us this imagination to give us all these different scriptures where it speaks about Jerusalem being decked out you know, glistening, uh, you know, being paved with gold and all these di different things, the image of the kingdom, the image of the people, you know, the state of Israel, the true state, not these, with, with the Jews, that's not the state of Israel, man. You know, the state of Israel, when it's going to be actually, you know, uh, established, you know, where it's going to be uh, uh, the elect and all Israel is going to be righteous, man. Right. Can you truly imagine that? Most, to be honest, we go, only so much right and and even so um the re you know why it's so pivotal that the lord gave us our imagination back is to understand and see the worlds that uh the scriptures speak man it's like when you read revelation uh, you know 21 can you really envision that to the best of your ability and, re and really believe in that because you know the you know the cliche saying, uh, okay, brother said the sound is popping like popcorn. Oh, brother said that. Yeah, hold on, let me check real quick. One second. Let me check something real quick. <clears throat> let me check something real quick. All right, that should be better though. It's still static a little bit. Try it again. Well, keep talking. I can only hear when you talk. Nah, it's, it's popping. It's like popping on my end, but it's all good. Nah, it's popping. It's like popping on my end, but it's all good. Yeah. Here, you go ahead, Barzal. Go ahead. Yeah, that was the main thing on the script. You had something you want to bring up? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll bring out, uh, I wanted to bring out this Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, If thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage, I give thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn uh, forever. The reason I want to bring that out is because like we read in, in Matthew, they perceive, but you know, but understand not in things that are nature because the Lord ultimately took that spirit away from them. Understand and be a visionary. And a lot of Jake in our, in, you know, in our time, they don't even believe that they're a part of a royal li uh, lineage because they've been beat down so much and their heritage is just through. 
in their in their the way they perceive things is just is just gone. That's what oppression and depression have done to our people. But it's all ultimately it was from the Lord. But He's given the imagination back to the prophets. So when we get our imagination back, we can paint the picture to the people now. And that's what and that's how we draw people in. You know, you got it, bro. Yeah, and that's why even the apostles always speak about it. You know, as well as brothers that you know, we got a lot to look forward to, man. You know, you shouldn't have that. Uh, scripture speak about lifting up the feeble knees, or you know, the feeble hands. You know, you, you should be in the mindset of, of walking upright, uprightly. It tells you um, in the book of Ecclesiastes how uh, basically a, a you know righteous man's eyes are in front of him. You know, you should be always looking forward, you know, to the next day and progressing. Even though we're in Babylon, we're in captivity. And we know that Esau is wearing us out. We still have something great to look forward to, which is the kingdom of heaven. This is all temporal. You know, we know it's temporal because we believe in the words of, of, of the truth. All right. And we know, hey, part of the imagination is, is this being a, a nightmare, man. You know, when you think about, uh, you know, understanding the, the concept of, um, you know, the mind, you know, the, the mind could play, uh, you know, tricks on you. You can be in certain places within your mind, and that shit can keep you in a in a slump, man. Like, uh, for for instance, uh, you know, a lot of imaginations uh happen when you're asleep, right? You know, because you're in a, a meditative state, you know, where you can actually access a lot of things, and and really a lot of nightmares, man. Well, nightmares take place, at, you know, when you're in that uh, position too, and this whole thing, captivity, has been a, a freaking nightmare. And the scriptures speak about in that that in the book of Psalms, when the Lord turned again the captivity of uh, Zion, it was as if they uh, they dreamed, man. You see, and it, it, it's, as a matter of fact, let me see if I, I can pull it up uh, real fast, because I want to uh, I want to read that uh that second. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to misquote the second part of it. Yeah, Psalms one twenty six and one. It's says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing and then they said among the then, oh, excuse me then said they among the heathen the lord have done great things for them you see and what's those great things the kingdom the blessings of the kingdom it even speaks about that in psalms uh if i'm mistaken uh 140 um 148 to 150, let the saints be joyful, you know, with the, uh, you know, sing aloud you know, with a two-edged sword in their, their hand, you know, and basically uh, praises within their mouths. You see? And why would we, we be doing that? Because, you know, that's that's a form of rejoicing and overcoming the, the enemy and having the victory of them. Now, we don't have the victory at this appointed time, you know, but we have to, you know, first and foremost, believe that we're gonna have a victory because it's already written, man. And a lot of people, you know, they they uh, can't continue on because they stop believing. Right. Right. Their imagination starts to get suffocated, and they get conformed. All right. The scripture tells you in the book of Romans, the twelfth chapter, to be transformed. You know, and it also speaks about the renewing of your mind. All right. So it all deals with mindset, having that perfect polished mindset, you know, so that you can continue to go forward. And we're going to see all these different things manifest. The scripture speaks so much of things manifesting. You know, something that manifests doesn't happen at that point in time. You believe on it, and then later on it actually shows its, uh, you know, shows its presence. You got something you want to go into? Pastor Paul? You gave me? No, oh, no, brother, you good. You got it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so... Um, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. You hear me? It's just this lag is bad. Yeah, it has a pretty bad lag your way. Um, I'm going to get this uh, other word. Well, I'm going to get this uh, scripture, matter of fact. This is uh, Hosea 3 and 1. As a matter of fact, I just jumped to the, um, the point. Verse four, for the children of Israel shall abide many days 
without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image and without an ephod and without a teraphim. Right. And that's, you know, when we lost the lost it all, man, speaks about a time where the virgins fell asleep. You know, we got thrown in our cap captive state. Our minds got, um, you know, perverted and uh, pushed down. You know, our thoughts got suppressed, highly suppressed from this devil. And see, this devil is, is, is um, you know, it boils down to Esau, man. He's done things deliberately to make it where we, we don't have uh, envisions of the kingdom of heaven, man. He's, uh, you know, poison our food, poison our water, so our pineal gland is, is clogged up. He put barium all throughout the um, barium oxide. He got chemtrails that's descending to us. Why is he doing all these different things? Because he doesn't want us to get the kingdom of heaven. And he does ultimately starts now from believing. He doesn't even want us to believe on your house. Because it, what is it written? Uh, uh, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow through rivers of living water. And that deals with the image, you know, the image of the kingdom of heaven. Because, you know, I remember Pastor Gabar went into that, how Yahweh Shah is a, is a righteous idol. Man. The word idol just means image. So we had spiritual positive image that we looked up to, you know, Yahweh Shah being that. He's the uh, image that we should be looking up to, man. You know, but it says, afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power and David their king and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Right. And it takes a high level of belief to do that. You know, even believing in the reincarnation, that takes a level of imagination. How many people really have the, the mindset, the mental faculties to perceive that they were here on the planet <laughs> uh, uh, multiple generations, multiple times? You know, as, and as well as believing in, on, you know, the Lord building multiple planets for the elect. It's so much, um, I'll say, dimensions within the scriptures that a lot of Jakes can't get, man. Because the scriptures, even though it's a simple book, you know, it's, it, as it was written, it's plain to the holy. It's still stumbling blocks to a lot of Jakes because Jakes been a captive. Niggas been in slavery too long, man. You see? Do you have something you want to bring out? Or, um, you, you still might be lagging? That's right. They, yeah, I got a, a preset for you, brother. If you want, I can read it. I yeah, it's still a lag. Yeah, has a look. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to bring this uh, preset out. Just let the spirit go. Um, but this is Ephesians chapter 4 and 20. And I'm going to read swiftly. It says... Um, but ye have not, it says, but ye have not so learned Hamashiach, verse 21, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yehoshai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24, and that you put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and, yeah, true, right. and true holiness. So the reason I'm bringing that out is because you have to be re renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right. In order to perceive these things. All right. In order to regain your imagination. OK. And uh, like we, I had that word imagine on standby. And it says uh, in the etymology. It says to form a mental image image of a lot of individuals out here, like we've been speaking on, like uh, the, the heritage has been beaten out of Jake. We've been so su uh, suppressed and depressed by uh, the, the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomites, for so long that a lot of Jake can't even have a their own form of mental thought anymore. Everything that they think of is like been uh, Esau pulled out the hard drive and put a different disc in there and put it back. And it says to sculpt, carve, paint, decorate, and embellish. The Lord, uh, wait, the Lord set up Esau, I would say, to beat out the, the creative thinking that Jake possesses within himself. Because Jake is the most creative being on the earth, man. 
That's why you have so much creative music, creative uh, ways of playing sports. Just everything we do is so unique because we had a inclination, which is the natural, the natural tendency to be so just different because of our creative faculties and our minds be sparking. But the thing that Esau to beat out of us, you know, a lot of the jakes is the imagination of the scripts and the spirit. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I brought out Ephesians. You have to be renewed spirit in your mind and towards how about me how was shy in order to even envision the things that the Lord is speaking about here. You know, like that's why a lot of Jake out there be like, oh Noah's Ark and those are fables to him. When those things actually took place in a spiritual eye can see that this is real. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I read these accounts, I don't call them, oh, we read the story of Noah or read the story of, you know, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Jonah, you know, Moses with the, you know, splitting the, the sea. Those are historical events is what I call them because these things actually took place because we have a, that, that spiritual cataracts has been taken off of our eyes to where we can actually imagine these things actually happen you know you got it bro they live glasses you know where you can see things clearly even though most people you know walking on in darkness and um did you have another scripture because i'm gonna probably just close with this just for the uh sake of you know it's a little staticky you know and um uh, did you have anything else you want to bring up you hear me Nah, bro, you got it. Okay, I'm going to get this up on Colossians. This is Colossians 3 and 1. If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shah, seek those things which are above. For Yahweh Shah sitteth on the right hand of the Mosa. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Right. So the things on the earth, you know, it really doesn't even take an imagination to really understand the things on the earth. And most things that Jake wants, like I said, doesn't isn't beyond Babylon. The Lord wants us to think past this captivity, man. This is a place of punishment. You know, the Lord didn't intend for us to be riding, a, you know, 2020 fucking Mustangs, man. You know, and, and live in the, uh, you know, the hottest parts of the city. That's low level. All right. The scriptures speak about in the book of John how the Lord reserved planets, man. Galaxies. When you see these different, um, you know, you, you see Esau when he does his studies on these different galaxies and planets and things of that nature. What he always says, oh, these are so and so light years uh, away. You know, it's, it, it's so far out that they have no way of actually, um, you know, coming in contact with it. But you have intergalactic uh, uh, vehicles that be zipping from, from place to place. And Esau knows that held it. The uh, government just came out and spoke about. Um, you know, UFOs being true, disclosing more information on these different UFOs and things of that nature. But it takes a, 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 a belief. It takes a mental, uh, like I said, being, being mentally sharp, not that dull, dull, um, hard, mm -hmm. dull mind. You know, it takes a mentally, spiritually, you know, sharp individual to, to catch that and retain that and believe that. All right. But, um, right. And what, you know, all the other things that, that entail with the kingdom of heaven. Because it's not just, uh, like I said, planets. There's going to be women in abundance. Women servicing you. All right? Esau in captivity. Because a lot of Jake don't can't even get imagine this fucking white man being a slavery, man. <laughs> For you real. They, they hear that part and they be like, oh, these niggas, these niggas crazy, man. How y'all going to take down the greatest military on the face of the earth? The white man took down the Asians, he don't took down XYZ. It's not gonna happen, Jack. That's all a lot of Jake's belief. But guess right. what? The Lord is gonna return, and we believe that, and we have faith in that. And when he's come, he's gonna take this devil out of the, his power seat, man. That's it. So I'm gonna uh, end it with this uh Revelation 21. Unless you want to bring something else up. Uh, I'm just gonna bring out Hebrews 11 and 1. I don't think you got it. Uh Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 says, I love. Oh, I'm so sloppy. What? You go ahead with that, he was like. Okay. 
Hebrews 11, 1, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So this simple and plain is that you have to have some type of vision uh, in order to have faith, man. Straight up. You got it, bro. And, uh, you know, a lot of these different scoffers try to come against us. And, you know, what do we always say? Man? At the end of the day, it's, it's faith, man. We just believe. It. All right. Yeah. A lot of people try to make it seem like we're blind faith. It's blind faith, you know, or, or we're brainwashed. All right, we'll, we'll believe what you believe, and we're going to believe what we believe, man. Exactly. Scripture speak about being food for Yahweh Shah's sake. We ain't always got to prove point. You know, we, you know, of course, it's going to speak about defending the faith, and it speaks about proving all things. But just like Apostle Harvey said, man, you know, you got, we don't have to go to these black countries online on, on, on their platforms to, uh, you know, try to convince them uh, otherwise. This is a personal conviction, man. Right. This is per personal. This is a personal thing. All right. That's why I could speak about let not the incredulity of them trouble you. That incredulity is the unbelief. And they're going to die in their false imagination. A lot of these niggas, man. They have the image of Babylon. They have the image of, 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 of America or, or uh, Kemet or Islam. Mm -hmm. You see? Or being a social media icon. Those are all images. But they don't have the image of Yahweh Bashima or Chaki in his word. But I'm going to get this in Revelation 21. <laughs> Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there, there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. Yeah, it was going to be a renewed, a renewed Israel. Can you really fathom that? No, right. no more nuts. No more gas stations, you know, with, with Jake fucking, uh, uh, you know, selling drugs and shit. No more gang banging. No more crip blood. All this. No more black on black crime. Huh? Not even a little bit. Not right. just we ain't talking about a two percent in the universe. Talking about zero. Right. Every year, there's gonna be zero murders. Black on black murders. Black on Latino murders. Can you really imagine that? Right. A lot of J but it says, and I saw and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from the most side of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the most high shall be with them and be their power. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. No more crying, and there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You see? Which is, this is, these are, what we're living at is the former things. The scripture speak about the fashion of this world fade away. So everything that you even believe in, the, the image that you hold on to, which comes in a form of a stronghold, you know, all those things are going to be ripped away, man. You know, or, or, or basically torn asunder from judgment. Because Yahweh Shah, when he speaks about how he's going to wear many pink crowns and every knee shall bow, he's going to literally break down the image that you believe in. When you see these supersized chariots, it's going to be, all right, you know, what is it, uh, unanimous. All right, nobody's gonna, it's not gonna be an opinion on what religion is true, right. what image is, you know is the uh, uh the true image of the most high because oh, that's nothing the image, right? <laughs> the image of Yahweh Shah being a, a super sized so called black man, you know. But <laughs> you know, that was the yeah. uh, main point. Anything you want to uh, close out with? God, dude, hey, you just hit it on the head because you know, I mentioned Revelation 21. In the beginning, you have to have a spiritual a spiritual eyesight to even believe in anything. Like you said, it's no point of us trying to prove this. It's just, hey, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see when it comes to the end of the day. That's why we have the uh, uh, First Corinthians the third chapter, where it says your work should be tried by the fire. We'll see who's right at the end of the day, and we'll see, you know, right. oh y'all just. Y'all just believe in some fan fantasy fairy tale. All right. We'll just have to see. You know? You got it, bro. Con, con. But, you know, that was really the main point. You know, hopefully 
you know, your brothers was uh, edified. You know, we're gonna end by giving all praise on the glory unto Yahweh. Double on to the apostle of the great millstone. Shalom, Akin. Shalom.